Well, the boss hasn't shouted at anyone in a while, and customers aren't complaining too much. Nothing's on fire. Yeah, things are going fine. Well, it's, it's good enough. We've got our weekly three-hour team meeting this afternoon, talking about some stuff that's on someone's mind and some thoughts someone's had. Anyway, it's nearly the weekend. In contrast, the busy, dynamic chaos of chasing problems and fighting fires also certainly isn't to be idolised. But it can be easy to forget one of the key roles of operations managers at all levels of seniority is not just to keep things running okay, but to also improve them. Hi there, I'm Lawrence Gartside, management trainer and consultant in business operations, and today we're looking at two fundamentals foundations for improving your business operations. So imagine you're the new store manager of a little post office. You and your few colleagues collecting, sorting and delivering mail. Today, your big boss comes to visit for your annual review. And he says, Yeah, it seems like you're running a pretty good office here, but you're the manager now, and I want you to improve it. He wanders off, feeling he's done his job and leaves you to it. So... What are you going to do? This improvement responsibility is quite new to you. You only just got promoted, partly because you were the best letter sorter in the team. Well, whether you're a post office manager, leader of a team of software developers, a production line supervisor, or a head chef in a busy restaurant, here's some universally applicable powerful ways, essential foundations even, to go about improving your operations. We've got to start by knowing how we're doing right now. Really before we can even consider improving quality or cost or delivery, we have to know how we are performing across each of these essential dimensions first to help us choose what to start improving. This means having some performance metrics. At least one for each of the major dimensions of performance. A full, balanced set of KPIs, key performance indicators, sometimes called a balanced scorecard. In our post office, we need top-level operations KPIs on output, perhaps how many letters sorted per week, on quality, perhaps how many mistakes or returns there were, on delivery, Maybe what percentage of letters were delivered on time. On cost. Maybe what was the wage bill each week. And also maybe on customer satisfaction and safety. A high-level metric representative of the performance on each of the key dimensions of operational performance. Did you know I've got a whole three-hour course just on the fundamentals of KPIs? Well, you do now. Check the link below. You can't improve something if you can't measure it, and if you're not already measuring all the key dimensions of performance, you can't really know if you're actually improving, rather than just swapping one area of performance for the other. Just improving quality by spending more time and increasing costs isn't really an improvement, more a trade-off. A quality improvement would mean seeing quality improve whilst costs and delivery and output remain at least constant. So the first foundation to operations improvement is having a good set of high-level KPIs that cover all the key performance areas of your operations. Next, make it visible, make it visual. Visual management is a massively powerful approach in all management and especially operations management. We're visual creatures. Almost 90% of information we process is through our eyes. We can process images thousands of times faster than the equivalent text, and we find it much easier to remember and act on it. Visual management means creating systems to generate and present important information visually. For example, now we've got those KPIs, get them out there where everyone can see. 
not just into easy to read intuitive graphs, really important, but also presenting them. Ideally, having them regularly updated or even live on a big screen. In our post office, sorting office example, we could be showing the number of letters sorted that day so far and the number of customer complaints for missed deliveries that week. Essential performance data made visible, not hidden deep on the data guy's private folder system. But visual management is a much broader philosophy too. Not just showing data, but making it visibly obvious how all the essential areas of the operations are going. Can you easily see how many essential stationary items are left in stock? Are your work-in-progress locations organised to make it easy to see how much work each workstation has queued up each at each moment, making it much easier to balance the workflow? In agile management, they love their Kanban boards, making it visible how much work is queued in progress and done. But the ideas of visual management come especially from lean manufacturing, another one of my courses incidentally, because visual management is great at making it easy for people to see what's important. Using colour schemes for impact, Pokoyoke mistake proofing, Kanban bins, different Kanban, KPI dashboards, going to the Jemba, big meeting room whiteboards. Visual management is so powerful to seeing how things are, what needs to be improved, and if it's working. Here's the acid test of how well your operations are set up for visual management. So, Go to the centre of the action in your organisation and look about, walk about. Imagine you are another manager, not from your organisation, looking around your operations, trying to gauge how performance is going just by looking. What can they see? And if that will tell them the important things are performing well or not. If they could then great, you're well on your way to having a well-run, visually managed operation. If this visiting manager would still be totally clueless, however, well then, best get started. All right then, so what have we got? Key performance indicators to know your baseline, help select and track improvements, and using more visual management so everyone can see how things are working in real time. Please remember to thumbs up, subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. And if you want to learn more about operations management, supply chain, logistics inventory and performance improvements, then watch my next video or check out my library of courses on my site, rotenstraining.com. Alright then, crack on!